Uh, okay, let's insert uh, the elements of our kitchen. Uh, the elements will be inserted here where you have this red arrow. You can move it clicking on uh, one of the points of this window. Uh, let's start from here. So now I open the base units, I choose the height, I choose the depth, and here I have any kind of base units available. So let's start with a corner, for example, linear corners, uh, 600. Uh, I choose my, my corner, for example, um, this one. Uh, to insert an element, you just need a double click. Okay, now uh, let's insert um, a cabinet for hob and oven, for example. Uh, here you have a very wide choice. Let's take, uh, for example, this one. Uh, you can make a double click or you can also click on automatic. It is the same. Uh, okay, now let's insert, I don't know, uh, drawers and baskets, for example, uh, two baskets of 900, like this, double click. Uh, we can insert also base units for electrical appliances, like this, for dishwasher or washing machine. Uh, I don't know, let's insert this one, just a double click. And then uh, we can insert uh, drawers and baskets with a glass, or I don't know, something like, like that. Um, double click. Okay, now I can exit from here, clicking on exit. And uh, I can change my working wall. So for example, I can choose this one. Uh, I can also uh, see the, my kitchen through the 3D window in this way. Right click to stop the scene. Um, okay, so let's go back in the elements archive. And let's go on. Now, uh, I move my red arrow here and now I have to change the direction. So right click, I change the direction for the insert and press OK. Uh, here uh, we could insert um, a, a cabinet for the sink, so this one, uh, for example, I don't know, uh, this one, double click. Now uh, let's close the base units and let's open the tall units. Here we choose, we can choose the height of the tall unit, the depth of the tall unit, and here I have uh, hundreds of different kind of tall units uh, available. So in this case, we could choose, for example, a tall unit for the fridge. Um, let's take, uh, I don't know, uh, this one, for example, double click. Okay, now here we could insert a wall unit, so I click here to move the red arrow, right click to change the direction. I close the two units, I open the wall units, I uh, choose the height. Here I have any kind of uh, wall unit um, available. Uh, let's choose, um, uh, for example, uh, a play track double flap like this, uh, for example, this one, double click. Okay, now if I want to go back to the other wall, uh, now I don't need anymore to exit and select the working wall because uh, the walls that I have already selected at, as working wall are available from here. So if I click here, I can very quickly change the wall. Okay, from here now, um, let's insert, um, let's um, insert the other element. So I change the direction of the red arrow. Um, here I can insert a corner. Uh, so I need uh, this one, double click. And now uh, let's insert another uh, element, for example, um, a, a wall unit with the glass doors of, I don't know, 45, double click. 
Okay, now uh, I have to insert the hood. Uh, the hood is in the shared accessories. So I click on shared accessories. Here I find hoods. Here you find hundreds of hoods of Elica, Falmec, Faber that are the most important Italian brands of hoods or generic hoods. Uh, let's take for example Falmec. Here you have a lot of series. Let's take, I don't know, um, Design Plus. Uh, let's choose one of these, for example, this one. Uh, double click and uh, let's also insert another. Uh, if I want to go back to the cabinets, I click on current model. Uh, from here, now uh, I don't know, I could take a double flap of uh, 90, for example. Okay, um, in the next step, we will see how to change the dimension of uh, this element. Um, in order to uh, to have it um, on the same position of of the of the base units, okay? Um, okay, let's go on now. Uh, let's insert uh, work top and plinth. Uh, you find work tops and plinth here in the shared accessories. I click on uh, linear elements for kitchen tops. Here you have any kind of top, uh, granite, marble, stainless, Korean, uh, quartz and glasses. You have any kind of profile, bar profile, um, S profile, steel profile, shaped profile, and so on. Let's take this one. Just a double click on the first one. I choose the material, for example, quartz and glass. I choose the color, uh, for example, this one. Press OK. Uh, automatic insertion, yes. The, the thickness of the top is uh, 35. I press OK and Arredo CAD will insert the top all over the kitchen. We could check also the, the other uh, wall and you see that the top is also here. Uh, the same for the plinths, uh, but the same for any kind of liner elements like countertop and, and so on. But Let's just insert the plinths. Uh, double click on the first one. I choose the color, aluminum. Automatic insertion, yes. And Aridocad will cover all the kitchen with, with the plinth. Um, okay, now we can insert domestic appliances. Uh, for example, and you find them here, domestic appliances, uh, ovens. Uh, to insert the oven, you need to place the red arrow under the cabinet for the oven, okay? Now, let's insert this one, for example, because from here, you will find a lot of brands available, uh, Bosch, Foster, Rex, Siemens, Mag, and so on. Let's take, I don't know, Foster, for example. Let's take one of these, double click, and automatically, Arredo CAD will insert the oven in the right position in the cabinet. To insert the, the cooking hobs, you have to place the red arrow over the, the base units for the cooking hob. We open the cooking hobs. We have a very wide choice. Let's take this one. Uh, we choose the dimension, double click. We choose the kind of uh, cooking hob, uh, gas. Um, Rex, for example, and then let's take, I don't know, uh, this one. I press OK. Aridocad asks me if I want it center on base unit, yes, or with displacement, OK. Uh, let's also insert the sink, so we go on the other wall. We place the red arrow over the cabinet for the sink, and we open the sinks. Here we have a very wide choice with one bowl, one bowl and drainer, over top, under top, flush with top, and so on. Let's take in this case uh, one bowl and drainer, steel, stainless steel. Okay. Uh, I need the drainer on the right and not on the left. So something like uh, something like this. So double click. In this case, I want the bowls center on the base unit. Okay, press OK. Now I move the red arrow here and I can insert a tap. You have different series of tap here. 
uh, let's take one of these just a double click and automatically AeroDocad insert the tab in the middle of, uh, of the element of the bows um, okay so let's exit from here let's give a look to our kitchen in the 3D view remember that you have to click here uh, to make a hole for sinks okay and our kitchen is uh, um, is finished and we can insert uh, for example uh, a table so we enter again in the elements archive here in the shared accessories you find a very important folder that is complements and here you find tables living room kitchen on or outdoor tables kitchen tables uh, these are generic tables, so no brand tables. Uh, if I want to insert a table of uh, Catalan, for example, then I click on Model Selection to go back to this uh, uh, window. And from here I can choose, uh, for example, Catalan. I press OK. And now in the Elements Archive, um, you won't find any more the cabinets of the kitchen but the products of Catalan. Uh, let's open the tables. Here you have a lot of uh, products here. I don't know. Let's take this one. In this case, I don't make a double click because uh, I would insert the table in the wrong position. So I can insert an element manually. In this case, it is better how to do. I just make one click to select the table and I press on manual. Now uh, I click here. I can choose the color of the crystal. I can choose... Uh, okay. Uh, of course, in the next step we will see how to move an element. Okay. Uh, let's also insert um, a chair. We can also use the, the fast elements archive, okay, in this case, it's more rapid. Uh, from here, I have the, the Catalan products, I open a seat, uh, chairs, here you have a lot of, I don't know, Brizita is fine. Double click, and uh, I can also rotate the element during the insert. Uh, clicking the tab from the keyboard. So if I click the tab on the keyboard, I can rotate the chair and let's place it here with one click. Let's choose the color. I don't know. Uh, Venge and leather. Uh, fango. Okay, and right click to deactivate the element.